In this video, we're going to look at the different isotopes of oxygen. So we're going to look actually closely at the stable isotopes of oxygen. And when we talk about isotopes, the only thing that differs, that's the number of neutrons. And because of that, the mass number of oxygen will be different for each isotope as well. So let's start off. If we look at the isotopes, this number here, the atomic number, this is from the periodic table, it's eight. And oxygen will always be eight. That's what makes it oxygen. So each one of these eight protons, because the atomic number is eight. That's the same. And because this is neutral, it doesn't say negative or positive after it, number of electrons, that'll be eight as well for each isotope of oxygen. What's going to be different? That's the neutrons. So we're given the mass number here. That's protons plus neutrons. And you can tell from the name oxygen 16 or from the notation here. So our mass number here is 16. And we know protons plus neutrons equals the mass number. So 8 plus 8, that give us 16. So the isotope of oxygen, this oxygen 16 here, has 8 neutrons. For oxygen 17, we know the mass number is 17. And we know mass number equals number of protons plus neutrons. So 8 plus 9, that'll give us 17. So we have 9 neutrons for this oxygen 17 isotope. Oxygen 18, mass number is 18, 8 plus 10, that'll give us the mass number there. So we have 10 neutrons for oxygen 18. So again, when we look at these isotopes, really the only thing that's going to be different about the isotope is it just has a different number of neutrons. Electrons, protons, they're the same. On the periodic table, we have what's called the average atomic mass. That's an average of these isotopes based on abundance. So when we look at oxygen 16, if we had a sample of oxygen, almost all of it would be atoms with eight neutrons, this oxygen 16. A little bit would be oxygen 17 with nine neutrons, and a little bit more oxygen 18. But since almost all of it is this oxygen 16, when we average this, we get our average atomic mass close to the most abundant isotope, which has a mass number of 16. Right here we have exactly 16. It's actually 15.999 rounded to 16. So our average atomic mass on the periodic table, that reflects the abundance of each one of the isotopes. We should note that there's an isotope called oxygen 15. It's radioactive like the other non-stable isotopes. This is used quite a bit in medicine to image things like your brain or your heart. But since it's unstable, it doesn't stick around for very long. This is Dr. B with the Isotopes of Oxygen. Thanks for watching.